Ready, buddy block? You won't get it in the circle. I will. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes! I've got one, two, three blocks in the circle. We can beat you, can't we, buddy blocks? Your blocks get too excited. They're excited because they're going to win. Here we go. Uh. Woo! Woo! Yes! Yes! I've got one, two, three. That's more than yours. You know I've got three as well. I counted them. But they've been moved. They might be a different number now. No, they won't. One, two, three. Hmm. Things don't change number just because they've moved around. See, yours have moved. Yes, there might be more now. There won't be. One, two, three. Huh. Well, they definitely look more. That's a long line. I know what you mean, Three. But in fact, it doesn't matter if things move or if they're in a long line. It's still the same number. It's just the counting that counts. Well, let's count them then. Yes, it'll be the same number. Let's see. Yes, in the circle there's one, two, three for me and... Oh, none for you. What? Like you said, it's the counting that counts. We've got an agent calling in. Which one? Agent 81 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. I need help. Everyone is busy counting. That's all right. We like counting. But they're counting all the time. They can't get on with anything else. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. <laughs> the teddy's moved. Yes, and now she thinks she has to count them all over again. She's going to be there all day. Exactly. No point in counting when you don't need to. Five, you'd better get out there and sort things out. I'm on my way. Get ready for launching. Hey, hey, we've got a problem. What do we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We need to get out there. Who's going out there? Number four. <laughs> Stand by for launching. Checking the room's empty. All clear. Good luck, Five. Looking for a five, looking for a five, and found one. Oh, okay. Let's see if anyone else is counting when they don't need to. 
We have an agent calling in. Agent 44 here. And a very good number, if I may say so. What's the problem, Agent 44? It's the waitress. She's spending so much time counting, the customers are getting fed up waiting. They'll never get their food at this rate. Agent 63 here. The man in the office keeps on counting his papers. He'll get fed up counting all the time. And look what's happening at the school. I could help her count those children. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, she's starting to count again. A teacher ought to know you don't need to count again just because things have moved around. This is getting serious. The children are never going to get outside to play. OK, agents, let's sort these problems out. There are two problems. Things are moving when they shouldn't be. And people are counting things when they don't need to. Let's sort the problems one by one. Five, why are the children and things moving? Help me look closely. Putting close-ups on screen. Look, blobs of slime. That's why they're moving. Ah, oh, yes. And I can see where the blobs came from. The problem blob. On screen now. It is what a blob of slime. Guess what a slob can buy. Uh-oh. Eat pig and flubbery. Flubbery. Making trouble is the flubbery. Flubbery. The blobs of slime are making the children and everything move. Right. We're sending brain gain to protect things from the blobs so they stop moving. Brain gain, brain gain to solve the problem. Use our brain away to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain gain. I can do it. Brain Gain to protect the moving things from blocks. Sending Brain Gain. Protect the children from blobs. Protect the papers from blobs. Protect the plates from blobs. Let's hope that's worked. Yes! Ah. The plates aren't moving anymore, so she doesn't have to count them. Oh no! That's the problem, Blob! Don't worry, we've protected the plates from getting blobs on them. Oh no, the plates moved because she slipped. And she stopped to count them again. Let's hope the man in the office is all right. We've protected the papers from blobs so they shouldn't move. And the man thinks he's got to count them again. We've protected the children from blobs on them. Hope there isn't another way they're going to start moving. Oh no! The teacher thinks she's got to count them all again just because they've moved. If people keep thinking like that, anything could happen. People would stop and count their legs every time they walked. Or count their fingers every time they moved. Or a shepherd would think he had to count his sheep again every time any of them moved. And that's what counting sheep does to you. It could be disastrous. We've tried to stop things from moving. What else can we do? The real problem isn't the things moving, it's people counting them all the time. It's like you said, four. Things don't change number, 
just because they move. That's the message we need to get out there. Send Brain Game telling everyone what Thor says. Oh, thank you. Let's get the message out there. Let's send Thor's message to everyone. Things don't change number just because they move. She's counted them. Things don't change number just because they move. The children are moving, but she knows she doesn't need to count them again. At last, they're going out to play. Let's sort the man in the office now. More brain gain coming up. He's counting his papers. <laughs> Things don't change number just because they move. He's not counting them again. Great! Counting the plates. Let's hope for the last time. Don't worry, she's not going to count the plates again. Things don't change number just because they move. Well, everyone's happy here at last. The blob isn't. <laughs> No more fun for the blob, now that people know they don't have to count every time. He's gone. Come on back. One, two, three, four, five! Oh, well done, Five. You got Four's message out loud and clear. And we've got it all on screen. The girl kept counting her teddies every time they moved. And so did the waitress with the plates. That man was getting very hungry. The man kept counting the papers. And the teacher kept counting the children, who couldn't go out to play. It was all the problem blocks fault for making things move. But once people knew they didn't have to count things every time they moved... Words of wisdom from me, number four. Everyone relaxed. And that was the end of the Blob's fun. Hooray! Sorry about cheating a little bit last time, Four. That's all right, Three. Right. I shall count to you only once. One, two, three. Now, move! They certainly moved, Three. Yes. And I know there are three of them. I don't need to count. I could count them for you, just to make sure. Oh, yes, please. One, two, three. Yes, still three. The best number ever. Get three things, count them, then move them around as much as you like. You'll see, it's still three. Three, three! You could try it with four things too. You could, but it won't be as much fun as three things. Check it out and call the number jam. Right, are you sure we've got enough boxes out? I think so. So will you finally tell me, why do you want so many boxes? Well, you know I love my beautiful things. You've mentioned it once or twice. And I love having them in my beautiful things box. Yes. But I think it will be even lovelier to have them in lots of boxes. <sighs> Let's do it! Woo! Uh, yeah! Ah! Ah! Ooh! Hey! Ah! Ooh! Hey! Yeah! Whoa! Ah! Be careful! Ooh! Oh! My dream is to have one box for each beautiful thing. And one thing in each box. My dream is a quiet lie down. In a moment, I am going to see one beautiful thing in each box. Oh. oh. I'm not getting a good feeling about this. A beautiful thing looks a bit lonely. Just one in a box. Oh. And somehow not 
quite so lovely. Oh, dear. In fact, let's go back to one box with lots of beautiful things in it. Oh, dear me. And all these other boxes can be put away again. But we've just got them out. Sometimes, for you try something out, but it turns out it's wrong. You just have to think again. But all these boxes... Quick! The alarm! Let's go! <laughs> We've got an agent reporting a problem. Agent 58 here. Something's going wrong. But not for long. There's a boy having trouble with his bike helmet. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. <laughs> Looks all right so far. But not now. No helmet. And now look. Two helmets. He's only got one head. Two helmets are nearly as bad as no helmet at all. This is definitely a problem we need to sort out. Thank you. And I think the number jack for the job is... Number five. Hey, look, we've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We need to get out there. Who will it be? Who's going out there? Number Five. Yes, I'm fine. Checking it's all clear for launching. Only Jasper. Then let's go. Finding a five to land on. Got some fives. Got a good five. Oh! Oh. Okay, five. Five's arrived. Let me get going to sort that problem out. Yes, there are problems. Keep an eye on the plates. Looks okay so far. That's weird. Very strange. And getting stranger. Watch the chairs. What's going on? There aren't enough chairs. Now there's too many. Too few chairs again. We've got a call. Agent 63 here. There's a girl having trouble. Looks OK so far. But watch. <laughs> that was quite funny. Four, we're trying to solve problems here. Oh, sorry. Agents, can you see a pattern? Any idea what the problem is? The trouble is, sometimes people don't have enough things. And sometimes they've got too many. We need everyone to have one thing each. One chair each, one lipstick each, one each. Well, that sounds fair. But something's making things not fair. What can it be? Oh, oh I think I know. <laughs> yes, it's me! We know all about Spooky Spoon. Uh -oh. One, two, three, she's me, she's bossy, she's very cruel. She thinks she's great, she thinks she's cool. She's funny, plastic, but she thinks she's funny. 
OK, Five, you've got to stop her. Look, Spooky, I'm looking. Don't like what I see, though. Everything's getting mixed up, thanks to you. Oh, no need to thank me. The rule is everyone should have one thing each. Oh, do you think so? Yes, and we're sending Brain Gain to make it happen. Getting the Brain Gain going. Sending one thing each, brain games. One each of everything. One chair each. One plate each. One each of everything is best. Oh, yes. I couldn't agree more. I don't like the sound of that. Just one each of everything. <laughs> what does she mean? Oh, no. They don't look happy. They've got one chair and one plate each. Yes, but look what's on each plate. Just one bit of cheese. One pea, one bit of carrot and one bit of spaghetti. Oh, dear. You did say one each of everything. Yes, we did. Oh! One table each. <laughs> and one waitress each. Oh, dear. Oh, I like this idea of one thing each. <laughs> Oh, no. If Spooky makes everything have one thing each, anything could happen. <coughs> the whole world might have only one tree. And the tree might have only one branch. With only one twig. With only one leaf. And only one insect. Ooh. With only one leg. Oh. And there might be only one bird with only one wing, so it couldn't fly. <laughs> We've got to stop that spooky spoon. Yes, she's causing trouble making one each of things. And we thought one each was a good rule. Sometimes we have to think again. Look, that brush has got far too many bristles. <laughs> Just one bristle. <laughs> Oh, this class has got too many children. <laughs> Just one child. <laughs> and that chair has got far too many legs. <laughs> We've got to sort things out. One each doesn't work. It works sometimes, but not always. We need a mixture of brain game. How about sometimes the rule is one thing each and sometimes the rule is lots of things each? I can send that brain game. One thing each or lots of things each. Whichever is best. Got to use this carefully. He needs just one helmet, but the bike needs two wheels. The girl needs one brush, but the brush needs lots of bristles. That man needs one chair, but the chair needs four legs. And you need one plate, but with lots of bits of food. And the class needs one teacher, but lots of children. And what about me? I think that very tall tree 
needs one spooky spoon. Everything sorted. Come back now, Five. All clear for landing. Done five. You sorted everything out. We didn't get it right the first time, though. Never mind. We got it right in the end. And it's all on screen. The boy didn't have just one helmet. The girl didn't have one lipstick. And in the cafe, they didn't have one chair and plate each. We thought we sorted it with brain game that made it one thing each. But that meant they only had one bit of each food. And a brush with one bristle is no good. Nor is a class with just one child. Sometimes you need one thing, and sometimes lots of things. It's not always the first rule you think of. Well, the last of those extra boxes put away. I am one number jack who was very happy to have one friend who helped me. Yeah, yeah. I also like having one box, but that box is best with lots of things in it. Oh, beautiful, lovely things. So, have you got anything that it's good to have just one of and things it's good to have lots of? Have a thing and call the number. Six! Hey, Six! I'm just going in the gym. Great! Oh, great! You've got one of your buddy blocks. Yes. Because, you know, your buddy blocks can turn into buddy sticks. They certainly can. <laughs> one buddy stick. Well, I've taught my buddy blocks to do the same thing. Go on. Great. Not quite the same as mine. What? The ends are round. Oh. Oh, yes. That's exactly what I wanted. Round. A circle at both ends. This is... a circle stick. Um, can your other buddy blocks turn into circle sticks? Of course. Go for it. They're not quite the same. No, they're fine. Circle sticks. Sticks with a circle at both ends. That one's very tall. Lovely. Oh. <laughs> and that one's very fat. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Maybe, maybe my circle sticks aren't quite ready yet. Well, never mind. We'll see them later. Let's go! Things are going wrong. But not for long. Look at this boy and his chalk. Putting it on screen. <laughs> he can't draw at all with that chalk. He needs help. And we're the ones to help him. Thank you. I'd like to help that boy. OK. In that case, five is going out. <laughs> Number four. Good luck.
luck, Five. Thank you. Ready for lunch. And I'm scanning the room. And it's all clear. Let's do it. Finding a five. Finding a five. I've done it. Oh, oh. Okay, time to do some helping out. More problems. Agent sixty three here. Where's the problem? It's in the garden centre. Can someone put it on screen while I check this? On screen. There's a man delivering a rolled up carpet. I've got a feeling this is going to go wrong. That carpet is out of control. <laughs> Why are all these things going wrong? Is there anything the same about the chalk, the big bit of wood, and the carpet? I don't know. I think it's the shape. They're all the same shape. Putting them on screen. Can you see what's the same about them? Oh, oh, they've all got a circle at each end, like my circle sticks. Put them on screen, three. Oh, yes. They do look different but they've all got a circle at each end. I think shapes with circles at both ends are called cylinders. OK, so we know what all these things going wrong are called, cylinders. But why are things this shape going wrong? I think I know. Listen! <laughs> it's the shape japer. What do we know about the japer? This. Looks like the shape japer is back. Shape. Look! Da -da -da. <laughs> wow! She's got a circle at both ends. Selinda! And I bet she's going to make trouble. Looks like you're right. I'm after her. More trouble. Someone's got something to eat. I think there's going to be a problem. another cylinder going wrong? It's got a circle at both ends. <laughs> cylinder! She's back! Cylinder! <laughs> well, the shape japer says these things are cylinders. She might be trying to trick us. They're open at the end and haven't got a middle. But they have got a circle at both ends. Let's get some brain game to sort these cylinders out. Just one thing. The brain game isn't working very well today. Oh, no. We'll only be able to use it once, so we can only fix one type of problem. So we've got to be sure that everything we send brain game to really is a cylinder. More problems. Will they be cylinders too? 
delivery man's in trouble again. It's very different from the carpet. But it has got a circle at both ends. There's more trouble in the kitchen. Is that cake a cylinder? Well, the top of the cake is a circle. And so is the bottom of it. If cylinders come in all these different types, there could be trouble with them anywhere. <laughs> Tins of food in the supermarket have got circles at both ends. So they are cylinders that could go wrong. A drinking straw is a long hollow cylinder. So that could be a cylinder that goes wrong. Or even a really short and fat cylinder like a cheesecake. If that goes wrong, it could be very naughty. All those different cylinders. So many things to go wrong. We've got to put the cylinders right. I'll start the brain game machine. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain way to get your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Let's just hope all the different things were cylinders because we've only got one chance with the brain game. Cylinder brain game. Cylinder brain game. Sending brain game now. Cylinder brain game now. Cylinders back to normal. Cylinders with open ends back to normal. Works for all of the things. Because they were all cylinders. Hooray! <laughs> She's not happy. We've put everything back to normal. <laughs> She's gone! Hooray! Come back now, five. Amazing! All those different cylinders. And you can see them all on the screen. The boy had trouble with his cylinders. And the gardener and the delivery man were struggling with their cylinders. And the cylinders with open ends gave lots of trouble too. So did this cylinder. And the cake was a very messy cylinder. And one lot of cylinder brain games sorted out all those different looking shapes. Well, my three buddy blocks weren't quite like your six. Not exactly. But they did help us solve the problem with cylinders. That's true. Lucky my cylinders aren't doing strange things. Oh. Oh. Oh, you are very silly cylinders. I wonder, how many different sorts of cylinders can you find? No. Oh. Remember to look for a circle at each end. Find big cylinders, small ones, thin ones, fat ones, long ones, short ones. And call the number jacks. Right, last story. Which story do you want? Day, night, day, night. I told you that story yesterday. Do you really want it again? Yes, yes. Well, all right then. This is the story of when the number jacks had a problem. 
it was the middle of a dark, dark night. The number jacks were all asleep. But then, the alarm went off. The number jacks made their way sleepily to the control room. Come on, you two. I'm asleep. We were all asleep. Let's see who's out there. Yes, the agent was in pyjamas, because of course it was the middle of the night. There's something strange going on in the street. A man was washing his car in the middle of the night. Number Jack 6 was launched to find out what was going on. And it was very hard to find six a number to land on. Is that a six? Or that? Come on, four. It's hard to see. It's dark. Of course it is. It's night time. But at last they found a number for six to land on. <laughs> Even number jack six was a little bit scared. Out on his own in the dark, dark night. He saw the man still washing his car. Very strange. And then there was news of more problems. Agent 58 here. Go ahead. Instead of being in bed, children are getting up in the middle of the night. On screen. They're getting dressed and everything. And there were more strange goings on. This time a man getting undressed. The number jacks were amazed. He's putting on sun cream to stop getting sunburn. That's silly. He's only got the moon to worry about. You don't need sunglasses. There's no sun. What is going on? Agent 99 here. I think daytime things are happening at night time. The agent was right. Things that normally happen in the daytime were happening in the night time. And who do you think was mixing things up like that? Spooky Spoon. Yes, Spooky Spoon was out and about. She's mean, she's bossy, she's very cruel. She thinks she's great, she thinks she's cool. She's only plastic when she thinks she's fantastic. Yes, Spooky Spoon was flying through the night, making trouble. <laughs> Don't like Spooky Spoon. No, but the number jacks can beat her with Brain Game to put things back to normal. And that is what happened next. Brain Game. Brain game to stop daytime things happening at night time. Sending brain game. <laughs> Number six helped get everything back to normal. When everything seemed fine, Six came flying back home. But was that the end of the problems? Hey. What happened the next day was this. Children were in their night clothes in the middle of the day. And not just children. All sorts of strange things were going on.
Now what was the problem? The agents were calling in to help. Agent 37 here. A bit tired because I was up last night. Oh, tell me about it. What's going wrong now? People are doing things at the wrong time again. But this time they're doing nighttime things in the daytime. Oh, no. If Spooky Spoon keeps on mixing up daytime things and nighttime things, anything could happen. Any time. <laughs> Playing football in the dark isn't much fun. You wouldn't be able to see the ball. And it could go anywhere. Or in the daytime at school. You shouldn't go to bed then. Especially if you're the teacher. And even the sun might get confused about daytime and nighttime. And the sun and the moon wouldn't know when it was time to be up in the sky. Oh, it would be very confusing for everyone. Daytime things at night? Nighttime things in the day? What could the number jacks do? Bring gang. Yes. This time, five went out to get things back to normal. And with the brain gain, she stopped people doing nighttime things during the day. It looked like everything was back to normal. And Five flew back home. But was that the end of the problems? No. No, it was not. Spooky Spoon was up to her tricks again. Ooh. Ah, I'm going to mix things up again. <laughs> I am. And she did mix things up. Children were playing football and changing into their pyjamas at the same time. was going on now. Spooky has mixed things up so people are doing two things at once. Checking that. You play football in the day <laughs> and get ready for bed <laughs> at night. Not both at the same time. And you eat your lunch in the daytime. And clean your teeth at bedtime. Not both at the same time. And look at this. He's putting on his morning clothes. His afternoon swimming things. And his nighttime bed clothes. All, All at, at once. once. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Dear. Spooky had mixed things up and people were doing things from different times of the day all at the same time. Same. So the number jacks decided they were going to sort things out once and for all. Right, we've got to get all the things being done at the right time of day, and we'll all take it in turns to put things right. Number Jack 3 went out in the morning. Right, what things do people do in the morning? Get up and get dressed. Have breakfast. Go to school and work. Right. I'll need brain gain to help everyone do those morning things. Three sorted it so that people got up and got dressed. They had breakfast. And they went to work. The things you do in the morning were all sorted out. Three had done her work and come back. And later in the day, it was Four's turn to fly out. Oof. Right. What sort of things do people do in the middle of the day? Be at school. Have their lunch. Play in the park. So Number Jack 4 sorted out the things people do in the daytime. Like being at school. 
Having lunch? And playing in the park. Three and four had sorted out the morning and the daytime. Now it was five's turn to sort out the evening. OK, what do people do in the evening? Have their tea. Get ready for bed. And what else do they do? Have a story. Yes. And so people did the evening things, having tea, getting ready for bed, and having a story. Like us. And all the evening things were sorted, and five came home. And then there was one more number jack ready to go out. Number six. Yes, much later, in the middle of the night. Number six went out again to check that all the nighttime things were back to normal. Everything's quiet. No one's washing their car. And people are in bed as they normally are. <laughs> I'm not in bed. Well, you should be. Making brain game to put spooky spoon to bed. Night-night! Come back now, Six. Everything was back to normal. And when Six got back, the Numberjacks watched it all on screen. First of all, daytime things were happening at night time. Then nighttime things were happening in daytime. The things you do at different times of the day were all happening at the same time. We had to sort it all out. I went first in the morning. Then I sorted out the things to do in the daytime. And I sorted out things to do in the evening. And finally, I went out at night again to send Spooky Spoon off to bed. Oh, oh, hooray! And that is the story of when the Numberjacks sorted out the morning, the daytime, the evening and the nighttime the time little number jacks are asleep. Night, night. I wonder, what things do you do in the daytime? And what things do you do in the nighttime? And are there any things you do all the time? Have a think and call the number jacks. But not too loud. 